Families and educators all across America have one important goal, giving our students the best education possible. To achieve it, we have to understand their academic progress. That's why there's the National Assessment of Educational Progress. NAEP, as it's called, is administered by the National Center for Education Statistics through the U.S. Department of Education. It's run by a board of officials, educators, and members of the general public. They come from all over the nation because students in every state take the same NAEP tests. The results give us an accurate look at how schools from different states match up and how we're doing as a nation. In fact, when you hear public officials mention our nation's report card, they're talking about these results. Main NAEP assessments are given every two years to a selection of students from the 4th, 8th, and 12th grades. No other grades are tested during Main NAEP assessments. However, there is also a version of NAEP administered to examine long-term trends. Every four years, a selection of 9, 13, and 17-year-old students will take long-term trend NAEP tests. Only those grades and ages are tested, and only at certain schools. That's right, it's important to remember. Not every school will host NAEP tests in any particular testing year. A sample of schools is selected in each state that reflects that state's characteristics. Every school has some chance of being chosen. Larger schools are often selected, but smaller schools can also be chosen. A previous selection has no bearing on whether a school is or is not selected in subsequent years. It's also important to remember that not every student at a selected school will take NAEP assessments. About 30 students from each particular grade are chosen at random to take each test. By the year 2017, all subjects will be tested via personal computers or other devices. Scoring scales in different subjects may feature unique numerical ranges. Overall, results are classified as below basic, basic, proficient, and advanced. Although these terms may be used by some states, they are defined differently by NAEP. NCES develops all the questions for its tests. After questions are created, they are examined critically for content and bias. There is also extensive pilot testing to ensure fairness and accuracy. The goal is to make the assessment process as accurate as possible. Local schools are key in reaching that goal. So how can they help? Good question! Each school principal will designate a school coordinator. The school coordinator will work with a field coordinator from the NAEP assessment team throughout the process. The assessment team arrives early on test day. They will bring all necessary testing materials to the school and they will administer the test to the students. When testing is complete, assessment team members will remove the testing material and submit all student answers for scoring. Since NAEP assessments measure national and state trends, student data and individual school data are not collected. Student performance on these tests has no bearing on that student's academic advancement. NAEP scores are certified by Congress as well as the U.S. Department of Education. An online NAEP Data Explorer, or NDE, is useful if you want to search for performance of a particular state or jurisdiction. Scores are usually released to the general public about six months after the test date. Although our nation's leaders use this data to inform education initiatives, everyone can take a look and learn.
When you're measuring what the students of our nation know and can do, it takes cooperation from everyone in the country, no matter the size of the state or school. Local participation is vital to a fair and accurate assessment process. By working together, we can make sure Tennessee students get their best results on the nation's report card. To learn more and to see actual questions used on previous NAEP tests, visit us at nationsreportcard.gov.